Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know. Now you know and I'm stressed. <laughs> We're back with another pack and prep video, but this one is just to go home for the two week summer break that we have from the gym. Every year, the last two weeks of July, we get like completely off from the gym, which is super nice because obviously Justin and I both moved away from home to be here. So it's like a guaranteed time that we both get to go home and be with our families. So this will be the third year in a row that we spend a week in Erie with my family and then we'll go to New York with his family to be like in his hometown for a week and we're doing that again this year. However, Justin's already gone. So he went to Oregon for the first week, like he took an extra week off to go do a camp in Oregon. But here's the thing, he is in the middle of the woods with no service. I can't even like send pictures. He's also busy because he's teaching at camp right now and we normally pack together. There's not much on the itinerary, which makes it 10 times harder to pack because I can't just like list out specific outfits that I need. I just need to like figure it all out as we go. And we literally normally pack at the same time. It makes it such a smooth process. And I kind of sat with him while he was packing. But like to be honest, I was on my phone not paying attention. And I feel like I'm going into this blind and I'm already not a good packer. So this will be probably the hardest time I've ever had to pack for anything. Things that I know are for sure on the itinerary. We have about four or so like clinics and camps we're teaching. So I need a decent amount of like gym outfits. And then a lot of boat days while we're in Erie. So that'll just be easy kind of like bathing suit cover ups. It gets a little bit chillier at the night. So more of just like beachy flowy sweatshirt pant kind of outfits. Um, and then I think when we're in New York, we're most likely going to go to a Yankees game. So I need a cute outfit for that. We're going to try to spend a day or two in the city. So I need some fun outfits for that. And that's all I know of the whole two weeks. That is the only thing that we have like specifically planned. So this is going to be hard. And last night, as you saw in like the last video, while I was in the bath for literally an hour, I pinned a lot of Pinterest outfit inspo or like picture inspo just kind of help get the wheels turning so I think I have a decent idea of some outfits but I haven't even put anything together or tried them on so before the packing part comes I think we're just going to lay out a bunch of possible options and try them all on do a little fashion show and see what we like and what we don't like oh no guys me putting out outfits somehow just turned into me ordering new shoes Justin isn't even here to persuade me too that's the crazy part, is he tries to get me to buy new shoes just about every single day. All of a sudden, he's not here, and I buy them. But as I'm laying out my outfits, everything is kind of the same color scheme. So I have a lot of these, like, tan, nude, and white ones, which I have either sandals or sneakers already that can go with those. But then I have a lot of black and white ones, and I've been on the hunt for a new black and white shoe because I have my dunks, but I've literally like outworn those. I've worn them way too much. They're like low key kind of falling apart. And I just wanted a new shoe. And I'm gonna say it, I was a hater. And all of a sudden I'm on the bandwagon. Um, I just ordered some black and white New Balance 550s. I'm not gonna tell Justin what I got. I did already send him a Snapchat of the order confirmation, but I refuse to tell him. Part of me really wants to just show up to the airport in them, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure they'll be there in time because I ordered them and I got two day, um, like two business day shipping. I got like express shipping and I literally Googled to make sure like what is two business days from right now? And it said it would ship today if it was ordered by 1 p.m., which it was. Today's Thursday, so it should be here on Monday. He flies in on Monday. Now, the odds of it coming before he flies in might not be exact but they'll at least come that day. So I'm hoping they'll come before and I can literally just wear them to the airport. But I just feel like with so many of these outfits, I'm like missing that black and white shoe and this would literally be the perfect shoe because I have a gray outfit, I have like three black and white outfits and that way I can minimize the shoes I'm bringing because I think I'll literally only need my brown sneaker that I'll probably wear on the airplane and then I'll only need to pack my gym shoe and like a sandal and I think as long as we can put the rest of the outfits to those shoes. I cannot believe I just bought those guys. Oh my god. But I think it'll be a good thing. Because I think that'll be able to be like my only other sneaker that I need. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight-ish, nine outfits down right now. That is not enough considering I'm there for 14 days. But we're going to keep it rolling now. I don't have any, like, dressy. These are a lot of streetwear outfits. I need to pack the dressy kind of outfits. But I just, I asked Justin, I was like, please answer as soon as you can. What the heck did you pack for dressy outfits? Because I don't remember. Even just, like, color scheme-wise, I, I don't remember what he packed at all. So I need to, that's, like, the next thing that I need to pack. I haven't even thought about that. I have no idea. Okay, first outfit, because I've never tried this on yet, so I really wanted to know how it fit and how I liked it. But I think this is going to be a definite yes. I almost wanted it to be a no, because it's just, like, really heavy. And I need to make sure my suitcase is not overweight. If anything, it needs to be underweight, because I know Justin's is 100% overweight. So if I have extra room, and I need to leave room for my sneakers as well. So, like, we're just going to try to stay under the weight limit but i think i really like this and i feel like it's perfect for eerie like a, a sunset beach night or like a nice dinner on the water i feel like one this is really comfortable and i feel like it's cute and i'll just wear it with sandals so rompers from revolve i think this is going to be a definite yes i have another white dressy outfit that i had picked out which i almost would rather maybe keep that one for mexico but maybe i'll pack it it's definitely light it's not going to take up a lot of room so maybe i'll pack it anyway just in case I need another outfit, but this is really flowy, really comfortable, and I'm definitely happy with this one. So, first outfit on the right foot. Okay, this is definitely gonna be my airport outfit and just like first day outfit. Set is from Gilly Hicks. I showed it off in the last video. I'm obsessed with it. And then it just is gonna go with my sneakers so that way I don't have to pack those. We'll be good to go. The only complaint I have is that the pants don't have pockets, but I have pockets here. I'm gonna have cloud with me, but I guess I'll have to just put my phone in my waistband, which I hate doing, or my crossbody maybe. That's literally the only thing that is gonna suck with this outfit, but this is definitely what I'm wearing because it's just like such a cute set that I can double wear then after just like on the beach or on the boat or whatever for a night that it gets chillier. So that way I can just have it for multiple outfits, but this is definitely a go for the airport. Okay, next outfit is just like a miscellaneous outfit, but it isn't really giving what I wanted it to give. I had a vision, the vision did not come to life. It's not bad, and I, I don't necessarily like have a specific plan for this outfit, so I'll probably still bring it anyway. And like this isn't bad, just unbuttoned and just kind of like over or like down, but it is kind of giving ho. And my hometown of Erie, Pennsylvania, they don't dress like this. It will stick out like a sore thumb, but I just feel like the way I had the shirt before, I didn't really love. I've already worn this outfit, definitely 100% packing this one. These are just like the perfect flowy beach pants. They're from Princess Polly. They're like loose fit at the end too. Really like these and then the shirt is from White Fox, but I think I might multi-purpose this pants because as you can see, um, we aren't packing very much color so we're going to try to use this as a pop of color just because like literally everything is black white gray brown hmm i don't hate it but something's throwing me off do we think this top would look better with jean shorts or sh i mean i do have like white shorts is it the pants i don't think it's the pants though i think maybe like jean like denim would look better with this i love the back though i love that it's like fully open so I want to make it work. I just have no idea with what I guess let's try jean shorts on. E I don't know. It's not bad. I guess I'll pack it as an option. I don't see myself wearing this. I just really wanted to bring colors because nothing else is colorful. And like this is very summer. So we'll see. I'll pack it and we'll see if I'll bring it, I guess. I think this is cute. This could definitely work for like a night in Erie anywhere. Because like the long sleeve, but like the shirt is kind of... Thin, so it's not bad and then the jean shorts this will probably have to go with like a sandals because I don't have a uh, sandals that didn't make sense these will have to go to, with the sandals that I pack because I definitely don't have a sneaker to go with these but I like it definitely bringing this as like a cozy possible rainy day outfit just this essentials crew neck this was hands down one of my best purchases I've ever made I don't were we vlogging that day I don't remember, but I know I contemplated it for like a long time. No, we definitely weren't vlogging, but I love it and I got it oversized. So it is just like the perfect fit and then just bite your shorts. And this will also match 
the sneakers that I just got. So we'll be good to go there. Honestly, I'll probably wear this outfit multiple times. It won't surprise me because it's that comfy. This one might be too much of a Miami vibe and not necessarily New York City, but this top is literally going to take up an inch of my suitcase. So we're going to bring it. I'm probably going to wear these black parachute pants multiple times. And then I also have multiple shirts I can go with it. So I just have this white normal corset top that I've worn before. I know it looks good with it. I don't need to try that on. I'll pack that. And then this also for just more of like a casual outfit, just like the gray, the parachute pants. And then obviously all of these will go with the new sneakers. Honestly, that was definitely a good investment because I would have had no shoe for any of these outfits and that'll go perfect. So, so far we're doing so good. I don't necessarily know. I mean, maybe I could wear this in the city. It's definitely giving more Miami. Like in Miami, we just, this is normal. We don't wear clothes. Okay, this is probably the outfit that I'm like most excited about for New York City. However, this is the first top I tried on with it. Kind of the same look, like the corset top, but it has white lace i i think it looks good i just think i'm not used to dressing that way with like the fancy shirt and the baggy pants so i feel like this one is a little bit more of like the same vibe but we're gonna bring both shirts anyway because i do think i think it like very much so gives new york city like i feel like that outfit aesthetic fits the city vibes but like this is a good second option just in case um i think next we're gonna try to see if the outfit i have in mind for the yankees game is gonna come together okay honestly this is so cute and last time we went i was absolutely dying of sweat so i feel like this will be good because i'm like fully kind of like open and exposed i think this is cute with a little like messy bun i just barely put it up so obviously i'll do it better but we got the yankees hat i think it's a vibe i think i like this a lot they're a little big so i do feel like they come down really like my underwear line is literally right here but as i sit and everything <laughs> they'll be comfortable so those are all the main outfits, honestly. I'm gonna bring like, I need to pack a lot more like casual outfits, all my bathing suits and all my cover-ups and everything like that. My mom literally just called me. She was like, um, I think it's gonna rain every day, but it says that and then it may not rain. And I'm like, cool, if that's the case, doesn't matter what I wear, we'll be inside all day. So I better get some boat days. That's like the best part about Erie in the summer, honestly. It's like the only good part about Erie in the summer is the lake. Okay, we got cover-ups, graphic tees. I have the sweatpants out. I'm a little nervous that this is not all going to fit in the suitcase. We're going to try to put it into packing cubes and make it squeeze, and hopefully it'll all work out. Um, gym clothes, all the bathing suits. These are the ones that I am bringing. And then accessories, sunglasses, some headbands, claw clips. I think that's everything. I'm trying to, like, go through the days and just making sure that I have everything covered. But like, let's be honest, we can find an outfit out of this to make work for just about anything, right? I don't know why I'm like, really stressed out about this. One, I'm going to my hometown. So like, if I need anything, I know I can just go to a store and get it if I absolutely need. But also, I feel like I never end up wearing half the outfits that I wear there because like, I can go out to dinner in this. Like, it's not that big of a deal. It took the poor guy forever to find the apartment, but finally got the food. Do you want to know my Panda Express order? I got an order of the cream cheese ragoons, and then I got a plate, because honestly, I'll probably have leftovers, and tonight's my late night at the gym, so I'll probably just honestly eat these for dinner too, but I got no way they forgot to put an entire meat in here. and we'll be getting money back. Um, so I will not be eating these for dinner, but normally it looked like they were waiting for the string bean chicken to finish cooking. And then they packed up my order and sent it off without putting the string bean chicken in here. So I got orange chicken, what was supposed to be string bean chicken, which is not in here, chow mein and fried rice. So, cool. <laughs> the string bean chicken's my favorite, dang it. We are somehow down to only 30 minutes until I have to leave for the gym. I don't know how that happened, and that's not enough time. So, we're just going to try to get as much as we can packed into packing cubes right now, and then I guess we will have to finish this later. I still have so much to do before I leave. Luckily, my flight tomorrow isn't until, like, afternoon. I don't think I have to be at the airport until, like, 1. So, other things that we need to get done. Obviously, we need to fully pack. 
I need to empty out the fridge with everything that's going to go bad because I won't be here for two weeks. I am also now realizing that I probably should pause my mail. Need to do that. Um, then we need to shower. I need to shave my body. Like, get my whole body ready for vacation. Um, oh, and I want to clean the apartment so that I come back to a clean apartment. So, we have 30 minutes now. I won't get home until like 10.30. So, maybe we'll have to make it a late night just to get everything done. Just so tomorrow can be a little bit more smooth sailing. So, that way I'm not like stressed about running out of time i'd rather have a nice relaxing morning i need to get all of cloud stuff packed as well because he's obviously coming with me and i think that's mainly everything i am at that point where i am starting to doubt that this is all going to even fit in the suitcase i filled all my packing cubes these are the only ones i have i should have honestly ordered more ahead of time because i it's so much easier to fit everything when everything's in a packing cube but we have shirts um gym outfits pants and shorts like dresses rompers cover-ups all of that bikinis and accessories are in the top two and then we still have graphic tees shorts pajamas and sweats and my makeup bag and the shoes what are we thinking dude do you think it's gonna fit i have my doubts but uh maybe we can make it work and we made it back home. I'm already showered and I have pasta boiling and it's only 10.20, so we beat the clock a little bit. Um, practice was good. We did get out a little bit early, which was nice. Panda did me dirty though. My stomach, I felt like I was gonna yak the entire time at the gym. So I was this close to ordering a Chipotle burrito because that's the only thing that sounds good right now. But I was like, yeah, I already ordered lunch. And honestly, I'll probably order Chipotle tomorrow because I'm not gonna have time to cook or I'm not gonna wanna cook and like, I plan on cleaning the whole kitchen tonight, so there's going to be no point in cooking tomorrow. So we'll just save that. That was my excuse. So I'm making pasta right now. We'll eat that. But I think in the meantime, while I'm waiting for the noodles to boil, we're going to clean out the fridge because there's a lot of just like fresh food in there that is going to go bad. And I, it's better if I stay on top of it, obviously, and clean it out before it gets moldy and gross by the time we come back. So I'm going to... Play some music probably because I need to save my podcast for the plane. And I don't, I feel like I have none right now that I like, haven't listened to. So that's kind of an issue. Oh, I forgot. I have great news, everyone. I finally got to talk to Justin and all the nice outfits he packed are white and like the tan color scheme. So we are good to go. I was stressing about adding color for no reason because I'll match him and we'll be good. And they'll coordinate and... I just am gonna be wearing the same color all weekend, but at least that helps limit my shoe options. So I only have the ones that I already have laid out. So I don't need to bring any extra luckily, but okay, I just had to keep you updated. I think the plan for tonight is clean out the fridge, pack everything in the suitcase, and then tomorrow morning I'll pack my carry-on, like my personal item, clean up the apartment a little bit, and shower wash my hair. I feel like I can do all that before I have to leave for the airport. Okay, now I'm really not worried about space. This baby's got room for everything. So, we'll definitely be good there. Packing cube, number one. Okay, everything here. Guys, I feel like I packed too much. Did I? Someone told me. I mean, two weeks is a long time. Especially when you don't know what's happening. But, this is all packed. I'm going to try to fit... I ended up bringing, instead of my thick black sweatpants, I just brought a pair of black Nike sweatpants, so that way it's easier to like roll up and fit. Um, I just need to fit these two crew necks and a zip up back here, which I think should be fine. And then just socks and underwear and this. And we should be good. I feel like this is so much stuff. I feel like this is gonna be so heavy. Oh my God. No, it's so overweight. It says 52. Where am I getting 10 pounds out of this thing? This is all I got rid of. And I'm actually sad I got rid of some of this. But like, and it's maybe like two pounds. The jeans were definitely, they had to go. They're so heavy. I guess I don't need them. I feel like I would wear them. I'm struggling. 
Okay, I took some stuff out. It definitely feels better, but I don't have the mental capacity to like really figure it all out tonight. So I just have it sitting down on the floor right now, not even zipped up. I think in the morning when we pack my personal item, my backpack, we're going to see how much room we have. And I think instead of packing the camera that I'm on right now, I think we're just going to pack my little G7X for the trip. That way I don't like the camera is cute that I'm recording on right now. So that'll free up room in my backpack. And then it's just easier. I feel like I'm going to be such so like on the go anyway that that little camera just makes sense. I need to remind, remember to switch the memory cards though. Actually, like I really need to remember that or else I'm not going to be able to edit any of this footage, which is not going to be good. But I think that'll free up some room in my backpack that maybe I can fit some more stuff in there. But we'll figure it out in the morning. So peace and blessings, y'all. See you in the a.m. Good morning. I could not fall asleep last night, which is not great because I should have been up earlier today to get everything done, but I was so tired I couldn't do it. So I think we're still okay. We have like over two and a half hours, so we should be fine. We're going to start today by taking in everything shower because my hair very much so needs washed. I need to shave my whole body and then we'll let the hair dry while we finish everything else. I'm really glad I did the fridge and all of that last night. I need to empty the dishwasher, just clean up around the apartment a little bit, and then figure out this packing situation. I genuinely don't know what I can take out. Like, I feel like I did a good job. I think about that suitcase, which I think is the issue, that suitcase itself, I think is just really heavy. So I don't necessarily know if it's the stuff that's in it that that's heavy, but like that doesn't help me at all because I don't know what I can take out. I really don't want to break my back either with the backpack that I'm bringing, but. We will tackle that at some point today when we get there. But for right now, let's go shower. Okay, we are clean, and yes, I put the same outfit back on. Judge me. I don't care. I don't trust myself to put the airport outfit on yet because God knows something will happen, and then I'll get a stain on it, and then I can't wear it, and then I have nothing else to wear. So we're just not going to put that on until the last minute. Um, what time is it? 10.06. What time do I actually have to leave here? Probably not until like 12.45. So I feel like we're good because it's not going to... I'm either going to just deal with the suitcase being overweight and have to pay it. Or like we'll be able to figure it out. I feel like kind of fast. I unfortunately think like there's no way that it was that overweight. I have definitely overpacked way more than I did this time around. Maybe it's just because I brought a lot of pants but like the parachute pants weigh zero pounds bathing suits i don't why and then all my little tops are like this much fabric so i'm a little bit confused okay i just packed all of cloud stuff up in here because obviously normally like his travel bag normally just has everything in it for any like weekend trips or anywhere we drive but obviously to the airport he has to go in the travel bag so I put everything else in here. I feel like I did get a decent amount of questions about like traveling with a pet and like all the how to's and everything. So most airlines just have like a form you can fill out online and then you have to pay ahead of time, which especially for Spirit, like my ticket home will probably be like 20 bucks and Cloud's like $100 to fly home. He is way more expensive than a new normal like human seat, but it's how the cookie crumbles. You kind of have to do it. It's obviously cheaper for me to bring him home than to pay a dog sitter for two weeks. So it still makes sense. But this is everything that I, what has to go in my personal item because you know what I'm realizing though? Since I'm traveling alone with him, my backpack is going to have to go overhead, which is a real big bummer because I, dang. I plan to like keep stuff. I guess I'll have to just take stuff out. Like I'll take my book out. I'll have my AirPods already in. And then this I'm gonna have to shove under my seat too because yes, I know you smell the treats. You saw me putting the treats in here. I already gave you one chicken. But then when you get on the flight, it totally depends on honestly the flight attendants. Get out of there. Because sometimes I'll just put them on my lap and they won't say a word. They'll think he's so cute. They'll just ask me about him and like, they won't say anything and then other times they'll there's a few times that they've been rude about it but most of the time they're just like hey like he just has to stay in his little carrier can you put him back in there and i'm like 
yeah, whatever. Most of the time I can get a decent amount of the flight away with him on my lap. So I'll just like try that almost every time. I'll have him for like takeoff and landing. He'll for sure be in the carrier. But during the flight, if I notice that they don't really say anything or if he's getting kind of, he's here, he's not a barker. He is a talker, huh? And I get it. You don't want to be under the seat. I completely understand. I wouldn't want to be under the seat either. And he will just the whole flight if he's in one of those moods. I'm hoping I can somehow just wear you out and you'll just be tired and you'll sleep the whole time. But I just unfortunately don't think that's going to happen because this is like a random midday flight and you just slept all night. But anyway, so in here I have toys. I have a little water dish. I have a pee pad just in case. Um, I have a whole thing of treats because this is how I get him through the flight anytime he's is, listen, dog trainers skip through this part because I just do what gets us through the trip the best. So I will just continuously break off little pieces of treat and just put them in the bag until the flight's over pretty much. <laughs> just to keep him quiet, keep him content. I get it. It's probably so uncomfortable under that seat. So I don't blame him. I give him treats and try to just like calm him down. Sometimes if I'm really tired and I want him to sleep, I'll put my foot in his carrier, I feel like it kind of makes him a little bit more like comfortable because like I'm in there with him and I'll like, or I'll like put my hand in there and fall asleep like petting him. So little things that help him out. I just will do whatever it takes to get through the flight easily. He's not bad at all. He's a, he's a great dog. And especially compared to like most dogs, he's a great traveler too, but sometimes he just talks a little bit too much. Okay, this has got to be, this is all we can do at this point. I took out the cargo pants, which kind of suck I love those but I do feel like they're more of a Miami or like a Florida pant than Pennsylvania and New York obviously like I could definitely wear them but I think we'll be okay without them here's a moment of truth how easy is this to lift off the bed okay she's much better let's see I also put the bikinis in here I'm just gonna have to deal with breaking my back I guess I really think I've done everything I can. So it is 1051. I need to pick up in the living room, take the trash out and do my hair. And that's pretty much it. We have an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes before we actually have to like leave, leave. No, it's raining. I need to take cloud on a really long WALK. So the rain needs to stop before then because I need to wear him out, make sure his system is emptied and ready to travel. Ready to go. From unknown individuals, unattended vehicles, maybe. We're officially home. Yay. So delivery i guess i can end the vlog now but i'll catch you up to speed with everything because i was stressed this one oh my god when i have a baby on an airplane i am prepared i am it's gonna be cake because they don't treat dogs like they treat humans and it's not fair because if he could just sit in my lap oh my god an angel he'd oh. sleep the whole time but you see the issue was um there was a nice man in my i was in the window he was in the aisle his girlfriend wife something scenario wanted to sit next to him but they didn't have seats together so she switched with someone to sit next to him but she had a dog and at first I was like perfect they were super nice I was like they love dogs so they won't care about cloud like maybe we can both just let our dogs be friends on our laps and all will be well this one who wants to be friends with everyone was like oh my god let me say hi this other dog goes and I was like perfect was this would be great she didn't want friends did not want friends so then I'm like okay and then of course the flight attendant's like hey dogs have to go in their carrier and I'm like, perfect. Well, now my dog is not going to want to go in his carrier because he knows there's another dog out here that he didn't really get to say hi to because he wouldn't say hi to him. He loves to make friends. So friendly, huh? You are so friendly. He doesn't bark. He just talks. He's... Huh. So I'm here bribing him with the smallest little pieces of treats in his bag to get him to shut up. And the plane didn't take off for like an hour. We're sitting on the plane. Well, I get through security and it literally immediately at the gate walk onto the plane like they're already boarding 
which I don't know how that happened because I did not get there late. They just boarded really early and then we sat there for an hour and he was not settling down and I was like, I know as soon as this plane starts to move, he'll be fine and he'll sleep. But he was just, he wanted to say hi to the dog so bad. And I was like, I was so stressed out because he is just speaking of a storm. But like if I had a human child, I could just set the human child on my lap, give it a little binky, you're good to go. A dog? They don't let you do that. So anyway, plane finally started moving an hour later as I'm texting my mom like, I am so stressed out. I can't find my book. I lost my book. Then I found my book. And then I just like put my hand in his um, little like carrier and just started petting him. We finally took off. And as soon as I started doing that, an angel baby, huh? Slept the entire flight, the whole way. He was such a good dog. And then he was the good dog the rest of the flight. And huh. then he was easy peasy lemon squeezy. As soon as he knocked the entire flight, I was good. Read some of my book, listened to my podcast, took a little nap. Cake. But I, this one, I am having a child is going to be easy breezy beautiful cover girl huh because i'm a single mom when it comes to you that's what when i am in the airport by myself i literally i feel like a single mom trying to balance yeah, everything be because mom taking you home because this is me trying to go to the bathroom i'm not going to set him down on the bathroom floor and if i just put him in his carrier he'll jump out and want to walk around the bathroom's gross he's also just going to walk like under the salt and go so i hang him up on the little hooks on the back of the door and he just has to hang out while I pee. But, like, I had to do it. So, huh, but we made it through. Everything is good. We just finished our drive all the way back to Erie. And I'll pick up another vlog probably in the next few days or so. So, we'll end this one here. So, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you give it a big like. Comment down below. Subscribe to your post notifications on. All, all that. that. And I'll see you in the next video.